Hi guys, I am back. Today is Sunday and we have a box opening. I was not expecting a box opening today, but um, it's here and we're having it. Um, we have Lane over here, my two little sweeties. I gave them a bath and changed their clothes this morning. They gave them a feeding so they are resting. I was able to also um, do a magnetic pacifier for Kayton. So now Kayton already had a magnet in his head, but I had to make a pacifier for him. So that's what I did. And it looks cute on this little face. All right. Um, let's see here. I want to say this is going to be the kit um, that I ordered. Actually, I want to say Friday. That's the reason why I wasn't expecting it so soon. And I was surprised because it shipped so quickly. I made the payment and then like almost immediately <laughs> I got a notification that it had shipped from eBay. Which is good. I like to get things <laughs> done quickly. <laughs> this is the reason why I don't cut on, on site because I mean on camera because I'm usually filming holding one hand. I need to get something like a stand or something. To put my phone on. I'm going to work on that. Okay, I got it open. <laughs> but um, this is a kit. And it came from... They probably have a card in here. Oh, she has a bracelet. It was already a pre-painted kit. And I thought it was adorable. And now I'm starting to learn how to assemble a baby. Reborn a baby. The only thing that I'm not able to do at this point or have an attempt to do at this point is paint. And I'll do that eventually. But right now I'm just learning to assemble. So this is going to be that baby. And they have a card here. Which is great because... I want to be able to tell you exactly who did this paint job, <laughs> who painted this baby and where this baby came from. Oh, great. I got a card. I got two cards. Okay, so <clears throat> the reborn artist of this baby is Wendy's We Wands Nursery. And this is her information, Newport, Pennsylvania. Um, so, yeah. PA, Pennsylvania, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and um, so I saw this this uh, painted kit online on eBay, and I was able to make a bid on it, and I, I won the bid. I made an offer on it, put it that way, not a bid. I, offer, I made an offer on it. Oh, look at her little hands. Look at that. And she has a cute little bracelet already on that's very similar to the ones that I put on my babies and it's on the same arm that I put <laughs> mines on my babies. That is so amazing. That's a sign. <laughs> I believe that's a sign. It's going to be a great, a great baby for me. Or her little mottling and veining and blushing. I don't see a lot of blushing. I see a lot of mottling and a lot of veining on this baby. Or her little fingers, her little fingertips have been dipped. And, um, so yeah. I'm going to be assembling her as soon as her body gets here. I uh, had already purchased a body for this baby. She's supposed to be 20 inches. I think the body that I purchased was like a 22 inch body, which means that she'll be just a little bigger than, um, and which is fine, which is great. I love big babies. So, um, yeah, it's her little leg. Ah, so yes, I'm going to be able to go in and fill these up and I'll probably go ahead and and fill her and all of that so when her body comes all I have to do is just attach everything and I'll probably go ahead and start working on that um, before um, she's really soft vinyl I love that <clears throat> look at her cute little feet and her toes adorable um, the painting process is amazing and I know that it's probably a lot of um, joy that people get out of that part. But I tell you, right now, look at those cute feet. If I could just purchase painted kits <laughs> and assemble my baby, even some of the babies that's already been rooted, I would love, love, love to do that. And just assemble them myself, weight them myself. 
I think that would be great because I don't know if I'll ever, you know, I don't know. I, I'm sure I'll be able to, I'll learn to paint and do all that one day. Look at that. Oh, those lips are juicy. She is beautiful. Look at those eyes. I cannot wait to get her body and assemble her. The veining in her head is amazing. I see it. She's going to probably be a ball baby for me for right now. Um, I might at some point purchase a wig for her or even maybe find somebody who could um, root her for me. I would look into doing that. If I can find somebody that's in my area that could root my baby for me for a reasonable price, I would probably get that done. And I might even look into doing it. I have a couple of babies. I would probably get rooted if I could find somebody in my area to do that for me. And then eventually I'm going to try that as well. Um, it doesn't look like it's too difficult. Her nostrils are open. You can see her little tongue in between her lips. She has some juicy lips. She's adorable. I'm still um, contemplating her name. But I really feel like I'm going to name her Bella. But I will give her name um, reveal, definite name reveal, um, when I assemble her and actually bring her um, alive. <laughs> so I like to speak. When she's actually reborn, because she's still a kid right now. When she's actually reborn, I'll have her name together, but I'm leaning towards that. And um, I have a couple other things in mind. So this is the Gracie kit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, I am going to get her together and put together. I'm going to go ahead and do everything. I'm going to put a magnet in her head for a passy. And I'm going to go ahead and feel her limbs. So when her body comes, all I have to do is take the zip ties and assemble her. And reborn her. So this is going to be, I have this one and I have a boy that I showed the box opening of the other day. I didn't expel on it. I didn't talk about it a lot, but um, I've already picked out a name for that baby. And it was a girl for whoever had it before me, but it's going to be a boy for me because I have way more boy girls than I do boys. And the face looks like a boy face. That baby is going to be Ethan Oliver. I've already named him, but again, I'll talk a little bit more about that once I assemble him and bring him to fruition. I'm also waiting for his body to show up as well. So, all right, this is my box opening of my kit of my latest baby. And then those two are going to make my collection a total of 46. And my um, limit has moved from 40 to 50. <laughs> so I'm literally not going to purchase any more babies for a while. And I know I've said that before, but I, I really have to not purchase any more babies for a while <laughs> have way too many so yeah um yep that's the end of my box opening thank you guys so much for sharing once again in this beautiful amazing moment in this box opening like share comment and subscribe and i will see you wonderful people again in the next box opening thank you bye